Hi, everyone. Welcome into this week's My Weekly CBS Fix. Hope you had a great week. This week's Pasha Pasha is Vayechi. In the past, we've mentioned the Pasuk, the verse in which Jacob blesses Joseph's children, and he says, B'chal Yivarach Yisrael, through you shall everybody bless their children. Lamar saying, Yisim Chalakim Kefrayim Manasha. We bless our children that they should be just like Ephraim and Manasha. In the past, we've spoken about what exactly it was with the unique qualities that Ephraim and Manasha had. If you don't remember what I said, you can go back and watch it. However, what I do want to ask you is that what is unique about giving a blessing in general? What is the assurance that when a father gives the son the blessing, hopefully the blessings will will come to be, will come to fruition. So what exactly is it about the blessing that's very, very essential when it comes from the father to the son? And one of the essential points is, is that a father must be involved in his child's life. And now that may seem obvious to some people, but it's not always the case. And nobody is neglectful, per se, but sometimes we're neglectful. And albeit in a parenthetical way, definitely not in a direct way. We're not trying to give any rebuke over here. We're trying to give an insight into the blessing that in order for there to be a blessing that should come from within the father towards the child, there's got to be that relationship. The child should feel that relationship. The father has to get involved in the child's life. You're not involved, so then your blessing is parav. It's vanilla. It's not full of meaning and it's not, and the child realizes that. And I'll give you an example. Not long ago, we married off a couple of students that I was speaking to one of the rabbis about if you're going to be able to come. And he said, I don't know, it's going to be hard. It was the last night of Hanukkah and we're supposed to have another family get together and I don't know what to do. And I said to him, um, I said, listen, uh, you know, the student of ours, he, he's come a long way. And, uh, you know, when we first started learning with him, the whole point of it was, was to bring him to this day. I said, what are you going to do? You're going to go to another Hanukkah party and eat another donut? I said, this was the purpose. This is why he got involved in in taking care and helping this person come go along his way, path towards back towards Hashem. So he said, you're right. What was I thinking? And many times we do the same thing in our lives with our own children. Now, we learned in yeshiva and, we, and we're studying from our parents and learning from the great things that have been ingrained in us. And we are thinking to ourselves, yeah, one day I'd like to inculcate this into my own children. And what happens? We get involved. We get super busy. And we want to do things for other people. And, you know, it gets neglected our own children. And we have to sometimes, like, remind our children who we are. Hello. And we have to remember that our focus should really be on our children. And if our focus is on our children, then we can give them that blessing. There can be that connection. And they shouldn't just be secondary because everything that we did learn and everything that we did implant in ourselves is only to give it forward. It was only to pass it on and to forward it to our children. So what we're going to do, we're going to run to another meeting and we're going to run to another class and give another class in order to shape who? In order to shape somebody else. What about, what about your own children? And so therefore, if we want to give a blessing to our children that they should feel we have to be there for them. We should also take interest in the things that they're interested in. Even if for us it's silly. But if your son wants to tell you about the sports leagues that he's in, listen and listen with interest. If your daughter wants to tell you about her play that she's in, you should listen. And you should at least feign an interest, even if you don't really mean it, But because then there'll be that connection. And when you give her or him that blessing Friday night, they'll know that it's coming from a place of serenity, come from a place of of, of it's a place that's real by you and you actually are interested in them and like that they're attentive and if they're attentive then their kli, their vessel of opening up towards a blessing will be open even further and they'll be able to accept it coming from a loving parent. Have a great job.